right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give you praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Bakar Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Shalom to the hopeful elect, pushing this truth in sincerity throughout the four corners of the globe in the sincere hopes of being delivered in these last days. This is the Bobby Akanan from the GMS Sigler Branch. Um, as you can see, this will serve as an in-transit edition video. As always, Lord willing, it be um, edifying unto uh, you brothers out there and also you few sisters that be listening and also learning. And, um, you know, this is probably going to be a various topics style video because you know there's a lot to talk about and there's a lot going on in the realms of um you know biblical prophecy so as a result of that you know there's a hell of a lot you know to actually talk about and mention and um you know that's our job you know being hopeful men of Yahweh Shem Shai, being prophets of the Lord you know Lord willing would be on the elect you know our job if you will is to be you know, spiritual news forecasters for everything that's happening upon the face of the earth. So anything that can be filtered, you know, through the scriptures, you know, events that are happening in the world, anything that can be filtered through the scriptures, especially in these last days, you know, we're definitely going to do a video on it. You know, we're definitely going to speak on it. And, um, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shimia Shai, those of you that are watching, you know, will be edified, man. Okay, because that's what it's all about. It's all, it's all about edification, you know, and to edify means to build. Okay, and this is all about building those, you know, building blocks, if you will, to the kingdom of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right, and that's exactly what we're doing. Every video we make, you know, every time we put out this vibration of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, the vibration of prophecy, you remember it tells us in the revelations that, you know, the spirit of Yahweh Shai. The testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy, okay? So that's why we're always bringing out prophecy. That's why we're always speaking about future future events that are going to come to pass upon the face of the earth in these last days, man, okay? Because it's all about prophecy, and that's the spirit that we're supposed to be in. It tells us in Sirach 39, uh, verse 1 on down, that, um, that we should be um, basically shrouded in the thought of prophecy, you know? And it doesn't say in those words, but I'm just roughly, very roughly paraphrasing, you know, that scriptures. We're supposed to be occupied in prophecy, okay? So, Ark 39 from the top on down, okay? And so that's where the meditation is always at, you know, looking onto these prophecies and seeing where we are, you know, in the midst of our Lord's return, all right? You have our Shimmy Shai. Now, I want to uh, speak upon, you know, this situation with the uh, food shortages and with all of these buildings, food plants, food factories mysteriously being set ablaze, okay? There's been, you know, various different fires throughout the earth concerning these uh, food factories, all right? And these um, food plants. And you've also had situations where airplanes, aircraft have crashed into these buildings. And, you know, we know through the spirit that this is not by coincidence, okay? This is far from coincidence, but this is by design, okay? This is definitely by design that these things are happening, man, okay? Because when you really, you know, survey the events that are playing out upon the face of the earth, Esau is pushing the people into a corner, okay? And if you control the food industry, then you easily control the people. And that's why, you know, the Bill Gates of Hell has been buying up farmland, you know? And, you know, various different, you know, Edomite organizations, enterprises, so on and so forth, have been, you know, putting these farmers out of business and then buying their land, you know, buying them out, you know? So there's, there's, there's a lot of different things happening in the grand scheme of things to get control of the, the food supplies. Okay, because they're planning a new world order. 
okay? They are planning a new world order. And part of that new world order has to include them controlling what you eat. Like I said, if you control what the people eat, then you control the people, okay? Because when people don't have anything to eat, when famine, you know, has torn through a place, all right, people will do anything. They will subject to anything and anyone in order to get a meal, okay? In order to be, you know, supplemented, if you will, okay? So Esau knows what he's doing, okay? Esau knows what he's doing. And that's how he's gonna get a lot of people to bow down to this beast system mentioned in uh, Revelations um, 13 and 16. Okay, that's how many people are gonna be able to, um, you know, bow to this system because for the for the lack of bread, you know, for the lack of water, for the lack of bread, not being able to uh, sustain themselves, man. Okay, so that's how Esau is getting uh, control, and that's why you know the scriptures say in Isaiah that um, you know the, the the men of the Lord, all right, are gonna eat in these last days. All right, we're gonna be supplemented and protected, and um, what's the word I'm looking for? Supported, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Barshim Yahweh Shai, because we're not going to be relying on that system to feed us. We're not going to be relying on Esau Edom, you know, to um, give us, um, you know, a way, you know, to sustain ourselves. We're going to be sustained purely through the spirit and power of Yahweh Barshim Yahweh Shai, man. So we already know what Esau is orchestrating, you know, with all of these food plants, you know, suddenly. Um, you know, just being set ablaze and you know, you're having, you know, random aircraft, you know, crash into these into these um, buildings Okay, we ain't stupid. The scriptures say that we are not ignorant of Satan's devices And this indeed is one of Satan's devices to gain control All right to gain control of the people and to um You know eventually, you know bring forth the mandatory implementation of the CHIP Okay, that's what's happening right now, man that is what's happening right now upon the face of the earth. So we're not ignorant of these things. You know, things are moving at a fast pace. And like I said, there's so much to talk about, you know, concerning biblical prophecy, concerning, you know, everything that's happening in the world. You got the um, the shortages with the um, sunflower oil, you know, and I've been seeing that, you know, out here in the UK, you know, that's a real thing. You know, the shortages, you know, regarding sunflower oil because the abundance of the sunflower oil is produced in Ukraine. Okay, so don't think, you know, all of these moves that you see happening in the world, you know, all of these decisions that are being made by world leaders, this is all, you know, by design, all right? All the abkale, all right? That's how Esau gets down, all the abkale, okay? So every time, you know, I've, I've been to like, what, about five, six, you know, supermarkets out here in the UK, you know, you got Sainsbury's, you got Asda's, um, you got, um, you know, Tesco, you got Iceland, and each and every one of these stores I've noticed so far has had a shortage in sunflower oil. Some of these stores actually didn't even have any sunflower oil. So now people are having to move to, you know, different oils. All right. So some people are going to be using vegetable oil. Okay. Some people are going to be using rapeseed oil. Okay. But then what happens when there's a shortage of those oils too? Okay. And if we're already at your point where you're unable to get a particular oil, you know that you, you have you know major franchises and businesses that use sunflower oil that's a that's a major problem okay because you've had um you know particular restaurants they've had to take things off the menu okay they have they've had to put you know um um uh, what's the word i'm looking for they've had to put you know basically warnings you know on the menu that you know this is now made with this oil and not sunflower oil as you would expect you know so on and so forth so this is making this is this is causing problems in society all right, and this is the plan, all right? This is actually the plan that Esau Edom, you know, wants to bring forth. And, you know, soon there's gonna be more and more things that you're gonna be unable to actually get, all right? Just like in the pandemic, you know, when there was a shortage of flour. I remember I was going everywhere looking for flour, okay? And you couldn't get flour from nowhere. And then it was eggs. You couldn't get eggs from nowhere. Now they're talking about, you know, the whole bird flu situation. That's probably gonna um, come up again, okay? So there's all kind of um, extreme um, things that are happening, all right, behind the scenes that people are just not privy to, man. Okay, you still have people, you know, shopping, you know, as they usually would, you know, moving without urgency because they don't understand what the hell is going on. They don't understand that Esau Edom is about to rage, you know, rage a food war on your ass, man. 
okay? And that's 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 some of the worst the, the worst uh, kind of war that you can even um, engage in, okay? Because you're talking about you know starving to death, and the scriptures tell you that it's better to die by the sword than by famine, okay? Roughly paraphrasing, man. So you would rather you know be fussed through with a sword than die of starvation, man, because that's a slow, painful way to go, all right? Because what basically happens is your body eats itself. Okay, so you're basically eating yourself alive until the point where you, you've suffered so much and then you just give up the ghost, man. All right, and that's a terrible way to go. All right, and that's why, hey, we gotta have faith in Yahweh Barashim Yahushai in these last days, man, because when people don't have food to eat, you know, they start making rash decisions. Okay, they start, you know, operating, you know, without faith. Okay. But that's why we've been given the gift of faith so we can enjoy these times, man. You know, even, even in the face of famine, you know, the, the, the elect are not going to fall. The elect are not going to take that um, the M-A-R-K, all right? And they're not going to bow down to Esau Edom's system, no matter what, because the Lord has given the elect a special spirit where, whereby they, they're going to be able to endure all things that will fall upon them in these last days, man. Okay, but remember, we're in a time of salvation. We're not in the time of death, okay? Or for the elect, you know, we're, we're in the time of getting tried and our faith getting tested, but we're ultimately not in the time of death. We're in a time of salvation, okay? We're in a time of being delivered, you know, from this wicked ass kingdom, man. Okay, so there's a lot to look forward to, all right? So until the next uh, video, um, I'm gonna cut this one off and I'll be back later, Lord willing. So shalom.